heavy hitch tooth bar delivered a little less than $400 with 5% coupons. You can do a quick Google, heavy hitch tooth bar, 5% coupons. You'll see a few of them come up. The weight on this is about 60 pounds. This box, 60 inches long, about 14 and a half. It's four and a half inches thick. Well packaged. When we mount it, we're going to go ahead and never seize the threads on these holding screws. I believe they're 5 16 hex. And some of the guys have been melting wax down in these hex. But then you're going to have to dig it out. I don't know if that's better than digging out hard dried mud or digging out the wax. So I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try this flood film. This is a pretty unique item. It's lanolin based. It's like a, a thick wax. Doesn't really set up hard. So it may not last in here, but if you get a good coating in here, it seems to me like the dirt would not force it out. And it's going to make the hard, dry dirt and mud dig out easier. But I might be wrong on that. But we're going to try that. And on the teeth, Greg said they're a direct replaceable item in case you break one. And I think it's a, he said it's some kind of a standard John Deere tooth on maybe a backhoe or an excavator. And there's a part number on the back. As far as the tooth bar goes, construction looks really nice looks awesome on the other hand that tooth bar for this little tractor it looks extremely aggressive so it's going to be interesting now stay with me we're going to do some digging in some hard packed clay dirt mounds more we did a footer tile job okay we got the front edge wiped off we'll go ahead and try to slide it on be sure and back your screws out first after you get it on there just take a Take your hand, slap it around, or rubber mallet. Get the distance about the same on your edges. I want to show you the fit and finish of this. Look at that edge. Right up against that shank. Just a slight gap on this one. This edge on the other end one, it's right up against the shank. Very nice fit. It almost looks powder coated. We're going to never seize the screws. They're 5 sixteenths. The size of them. We're going to test flood film on these two flood film shot into those hex heads only. Then the middle two will shoot some flood film in there and then melt some wax in them. And then on the far two, there's six, two, four, six. On the right two, we'll just melt hot wax only into the hex heads. And then we're going to move a lot of dirt. It's a lot of heavy clay dirt. We'll see which one removes or cleans out the easiest. Flood film, you got to shake the heck out of it before you use it. Now we're going to melt wax and drop in these two. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, these are the right two. Nothing's in these. These are brand new hex screws. We're just going to put some wax in them. Fills that little pocket right up. I'm hoping the flood film will act as a separator. It turns into some kind of a lanolin, like a heavy duty wax. There's wax melted on top of the flood film. Fills it right up, kind of like that too. Let's go stick her in the dirt.
Okay, it's been about a week, so what we got in there, the first dirt we moved was clay, so we should have some clay in there that is set up. It's been hot and dry, and then we moved some topsoil. What gravel's in there is I went ahead and ran the scoop into the gravel three or four times and dumped it just to kind of clean the, uh, had some dirt stuck in here in between the fork, and it did pretty good on cleaning it up. The only tool was that 5 16 long handle 3 is flex ratchet, and little steel carburetor screwdriver, and there's our map. Get her angle down here. These two on the left are only flood film. I'll show you how easy it goes. In. That was pretty easy. She went down a quarter inch. Still look good down in there. Okay, these two in the middle, we shot flood film in it and then melted wax in it. Let's see how they pop out. Well, there's your wax plug. That's pretty cool. Look at that. There's still a little bit in there, but just one. Went all the way down, clear to the bottom. I'm kind of liking the wax too. Go to this one. There's the plug. That's with flood film shot in there and then wax dropped in it. Not bad at all. Now these are only wax. The plug breaks up a little bit, but the rest of it came right out in two chunks. It looks like a brand new hex screw. Looks like half of it and then the other half. I'm liking all three methods. Might just depend on how big of a hurry you're in. If you got the time, melt some wax in it. You can't go wrong. And with the flood film, there's the two on flood film only. And you can see the dirt. You're going to dig out more dirt. There it is right there. But you got no problem getting that hex in there all the way. I can even dig more dirt even though I can get the hex down in there. But the bottom line is, is if you get your hex down there a quarter inch, you can't do any better than that. I think I actually dug a little bit more dirt out of there with the flood film only. If I got time, I'm gonna go flood film and wax or just forget the flood film and go wax. It's gonna be user's choice on that. If you got any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. I appreciate you taking your time watching the video. And if you like it, hit the old like button and please subscribe and have a good one.